What's going on? This is David Potts with Song Notes, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Team by Lord. Here's how it sounds, and then I'm going to get right to the lesson. Wait till you're announced. You've not yet lost all your graces. The hounds will stay in chains. Call upon your greatness as you said. Call all the ladies out, they're in their finery. A hundred jewels on toast, a hundred jewels between teeth. Now bring my boys in, their skin and craters like the moon. The moon we love like a brother, as we dance around the room, dancing around the visor tail, dancing around big guys as well. Oh, even the cone with toes, it don't kiss and tell. We live in city. There we have it. That's just uh, first verse and chorus, but um, everything I'm going to show you is going to cover that. That's all you need for the entire song. So uh, let's get to it. Um, before I start with the chords, you're going to need everything I'm going to show you is available on songnotes.cc. That's my own website where I keep my personal collection of tabs and lyrics and chords to all the songs I learn and love to play. So check that out. But uh, first off, chords and capo. Um, as you're going to see, have a capo on the sixth fret. Uh, you don't need a capo. You can do everything I'm about to show you down here without a capo if you like. Just note that you won't be able to play along with me and you also won't be able to play along with the album because the album um, is an F sharp, meaning that if you have a capo in the sixth fret and you use the chords I show you, you're in good shape. So as for the chords, you're going to need four chords only for this song. You're going to need a C, you're going to need a G, you're going to need an A minor, F is tricky for you. Uh, it is usually that first bar chord that gives people problems. Uh, you can play it by just playing the middle four strings. So third fret, third fret, second fret, first fret. And you're kind of muting. Oops. Muting the top and bottom string. So now what I'm going to show you, I prefer to play the song without a pick. So what I do is typically I, I sort of do a uh, sort of a grab strum there with the middle four strings for C, the middle four strings for A minor. Um, with the G I do get the bass note, and with the F I am playing just those middle four strings. So it's up to you. Those are the chords you need. Uh, play them however you like. Now I am going to cover the strumming pattern um, later in the lesson, so hang around if you want to check that out. That's pretty much going to be this. Now this is something you use it in this song and tons of other songs. It comes in handy. So if this is something you haven't learned before, I recommend sticking around for this part of the lesson because I'm going to break it down. But uh, before that, I want to cover the high level stuff. So let's move into the verse. Um, skipping the intro for now, that too I'll cover at the end of the lesson. That's the... So hang around for that as well. But back to the verse. So verse, you're going to need three chords for the verse. You're going to need a C, A minor, and a G. Uh, those three chords are all you need for the verse. You're going to have uh, two bars of C, so that's four counts for each bar. So C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, A minor, one bar, and then G, one bar. So repeat, C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, A minor, two, three, four, G, two, three, four. And that's all you need. So with the words, it would sound like this. Call all the ladies out, they're in the finery. A hundred jewels on throats, a hundred jewels between teeth. That's all you need to worry about. Uh, if you want to do the strumming pattern I showed earlier in the demo, it's Call all the ladies out, they're in the finery. A hundred jewels on throats, a hundred jewels between teeth. And you repeat that whole thing again for 
the next part of the verse, uh, you know, bring all the boys in, etc. Right. So next up, we're going to have the pre-chorus. Um, the pre-chorus is something that happens once in the song. It's only after the first verse, and it uses the exact same chords. So this is the section that sounds like this. Dancing around all the lines we tell. Dancing around big guys as well. Ooh, even the comatose. They don't dance in the So, exact same thing there. And then, uh, let's move into the chorus now. And the chorus uses the other chord progression in this song. And uh, that is, you're going to do F for one bar. A minor for one bar, and then G for one bar. So I'll do that again. F, A minor, G. So with the words, that would sound like this. We live in cities, you'll never see on the screen. Not very pretty, but we sure know how to run free. Live in Um, and uh, the part I just showed you, if you want to get a little bit, add one little bit of flair to it, what I do on the, on the lyric, run free, I go from the G back down to an A minor. So that would be something like, We live in cities, you'll never see on the screen, not very pretty, but you sure know how to run free. It's not really required, uh, just adds a little bit of a sort of a walk down to set you up for the next part of the chorus. So. Do that if you like, right? And then the final part of the song is... I'm kind of overbidden, told to throw my hands up in the air. And you'll see this is the exact same chord progression as the chorus. So you're not changing any of the chords or the counts. If anything, I think you probably will strum this part a little bit lighter because you're adding some, you know, some dynamicism to the song so it's not the same sort of, you know, uh, loudness the entire time. But, uh, but that's pretty it. So that's pretty much it. So I think I'll do um, I'll do one quick verse and one quick chorus, really quick, to show you how to put that all together with the strumming pattern. But basically, um, now bring my boys in. Their faces cratered like the moon. The moon we love like our brother. As we dance around the room, dancing around all the lies we tell, dancing around big eyes as well. Ooh, even the comatose. They don't dance in the song you kind of you stay on the city's part you just kind of repeat it but you're basically you're repeating the same progression so it's nothing new so chord wise that's all you're gonna need nothing too crazy um, but next up let me cover the strumming pattern really quick so basically this is what we're gonna work towards now I'm gonna I'm gonna show this to you in two different parts there's the the slap and then there's the strum So the key to understanding this is understanding that this song is in four beats per measure. So if we count out a measure, so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and if we start with this sort of rhythmic chop, the chop always occurs on the second and the fourth beat. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and and if you have a pick, one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. You can do a sort of a palm mute. If you look on YouTube for palm mute guitar, you'll get some great tutorials on that. But pretty much that's where you want your accent, your rhythmic accent, right? And I recommend if you're learning this, do it with your hand. Don't just watch the video. Even if you're just doing it against your chest or your stomach, you know, get used to the motion. For the strum, you want to emphasize the first and the two and beat, meaning the beat between the two and the three. So one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. So practice that. 
get that down. Make sure your hand kind of speaks both these languages fluently, and then you can put them together like this. You get the idea, right? So um, check that out because you can use that not only on this song, but a lot of other songs. It comes very much in handy and it's the funnest way, um, it's a fun way to play without a pick. If you don't want to do sort of finger picking stuff, you can kind of, you know, do this sort of, I don't know, I don't know what kind of strumming you call that, but it's sort of like a grab, slap stuff. So that's pretty cool. And the, the one thing I didn't show you yet is the intro. So I have the tabs for this on my site. Um, on songnotes.cc. Check that out for sure. Basically, I can show you how I do that. Um, if you're going to practice this, I recommend practicing it uh, line by line. Get each little phrase. There's about four phrases, but it goes like this pretty much. That's the first one. And then again. third one is again mm. one more time and then the last one is Get the idea so I'll do it once more with the singing and understand that on the album this is um, there's no music to this part there's no chords I'm sort of picking the notes that she sings so wait till you announce you've not yet lost all your graces the hound will stay in chains look upon your greatness then repeat that and so on and so on. So uh, that's pretty much it. Um, it's a great song. I've enjoyed playing it. Wanted to do the last sentence since it was fresh in my mind. But again, check out song notes for uh, the tabs, lyrics, everything I showed you uh, to this song. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, and uh, thanks for watching. Have a great night. Bye bye. Then all the cups got broke. The shawls beneath my feet. But it was in my fall. Each other's team, and you know.